Hello, and welcome to The Last Update, Jim. The last one. Um, I'm Jeff from Hidden Path. And I'm Jim, as he said. I, I gave it away hmm. early. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <gasps> <laughs> um, we're pretty excited. We're in our final week. Yes, and uh, money is coming in. Wow, it's been dramatic over the past couple of days. I think now we're up, as, as we record this, we're over $230,000 in total pledges and I think about 5,100 total backers, isn't that right? Yeah, it's amazing. And um, you know, we've been talking about this on the boards. Obviously, uh, being able to you know, take the, the video cards that AMD gave us and, the, and also the mice that Razer has given us and be able to put those at special pricing has drawn a lot of people in. But it's not just people coming in for the video cards, it's also been a way to get the word out. That's probably been the biggest thing on this whole Kickstarter. Th that's right, and I think that's what we're counting on you folks to get us over that, that $250, $1,000 threshold is, is to help us get the word out. That's what we're really focusing on at this point. Yeah, I think with the with the video cards, we found a way to reach an audience who was looking for video card deals, happened to hear about Defense Grid, go, hey, I played that, I want that, and the video card as well, and, and it made it all work. I think so, the biggest thing we hear from folks that are just getting involved in this for the first time is, I didn't even hear about it, I knew nothing about it. So uh, this is it's this has really, been exciting. Yeah. So we're really excited about that. With the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar minimum, once we cross that, and we're on track to do so, and thank you so much for that, we're going to start work on Defense Grid Containment, which is an expansion story uh, to the game that you have a copy of, and you'll be able to play new content, um, more Defense Grid, more story of Defense Grid, new kinds of levels, um, some new twists and turns, and we're targeting that for December. That's why you see the dates being December. Uh, those people who are getting physical goods, though, we expect those to go out sooner than that. That's right. I think the September for the video we cards. Targets. We're expecting uh, to receive all the video cards and the mice from AMD and Razer uh, early September, so that we can get them out to you in September. And the production of our physical goods. Some of it is coming from overseas, so yep. we don't have a, a uh, so the, the gun tower. <laughs> Which rotates. We've never pointed that out. Everyone we, said that... In fact, last time when we did that, that, that physical goods update, we didn't even know that the gun tower rotated. And I wrote to the guys in China, I'm like, you know, it's kind of loose here. People are going to think it's going to break if they try to rotate it. He's like, dude, <laughs> it rotates. He was right. He said, dude. <laughs> well, he said it in Chinese. Yes. <laughs> and then there's the audio button as well. I think now. Live to fight another day, right? Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. it's still working. Yeah, well, that's good. The battery hasn't gone on that one. No, yet. not at all. I think we've hit it a lot. That's right. A lot. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> uh, well, so so yes, it's true that uh, we know we're likely not going to be able to to fund the full uh, uh, DG two from from this Kickstarter, but 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 being able to fund containment. Uh, does get us really far along the way. Yeah. So we, we get to continue to working on the engine. So part of the money is going towards the updated engine and part right. of the money is going towards the containment content. We then get to sell containment to non-backers. We'll, we'll get it out as an expansion on, on Steam and elsewhere. And that will raise money. And that money will go right into DG2 for you, for everybody. That's right. And then we're going to work to close the gap. There'll be a gap there. And obviously, we were hoping to fill the entire gap with the Kickstarter, but we didn't do that. But that or at least doesn't look like we're going to do that at this stage. But we've had a lot of great conversations with other people in the industry, other places, where there may be ways we can fill the gap and still be completely true to you guys. We and remain confident yeah. that, that we're going to be able to produce TG2. And every single one of you guys that, that uh, contributed at $15 or more, you guys, you are going to get, get that DG two absolutely, and and we're not only confident we can get a deal or find a way to to fill the gap. I mean, we're bringing some of the resources to the table. You guys are bringing some of the resources to the table, and we're going to need probably either to earn money doing something more or have a third party bring some resources to the table. But any conversation we have with a third party says we have to be able to keep all the things we said to the the backers. That's that's Absolutely. a requirement. And and so far everyone's gone, yeah, yeah, we totally understand that. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're gonna figure this out and we you're along with us, but the best part is that, you know, without any deals or anything, containment's gonna get made and you're gonna be getting that. And so we're pretty excited about that. At least on the current trajectory. I am counting a little bit of money that has not yet hatched. Yes, but um, we're confident that you guys can help us cross that finish line and, and achieve at least the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar threshold. This week we're going to do something a little special and a little different, and I wish I had all the details here for mm. for today to tell it to you. Um, we're recording this a little earlier in the week than you guys are um, going to see it tomorrow, and hopefully by the time it goes out we'll know everything, but sometime on Friday or Saturday it looks like we're going to have a 
exhibition tournament where we're going to invite some of the best defense grid players to come in and play on a live stream for everyone to see how those people get those amazing high scores. And we think it's going to be a really cool thing and we're going to award some prizes for, for really great high scores. We're all going to be in there and watch because I, I'll tell you, I, I, I'm pretty good at the game, but I, I'm not, I am not like some of these folks who are amazing. And I think it would be really fun for all of us to be able to watch um, you know, okay, here's a map and mode, here is a time limit, go, and let's watch, you know, some of the best players really try and get the very best defense grid scores they can on a particular map or mode. And I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah. So, some folks are working on getting that all logistically uh, figured out, but I wanted to give you a heads up to watch for it. We'll send out an update with the details. Look for it this Friday or Saturday for uh, this, this online streaming tournament. Mm -hmm. Talk about last week's contest winners. Last week we had contests and we have contest, contest winners. Contest winners. There were some fun contests. Yeah. Uh, we had the scavenger hunts. Yeah, we hadn't done that before. No, no, we hadn't. We, so uh, you had to find snowman and you had to find the train. Right. And uh, we then took all the people who went and found the snowman and all the people who went and found the train and we drew from those names and we were able to win, uh, give winners who win the AMD Radeon. 6770 HD, HD 6770 video cards. Um, and thanks to Oatmeal, we can show you where the answers are right now. So on Veil of Ice, you could find the snowman right here. And on Turnabout, <gasps> you could find the train right here. And so thank you to Oatmeal for creating those videos for us. And the winner of the snowman drawing was London Prophet. I like the name. Congratulations, London Prophet. And the winner of the train scavenger hunt. I can't pronounce it. I'm going to try it. Here it goes. It's Zizikwezif. Yeah, it's, well, fortunately said. it's written here somewhere. <laughs> and uh, and you can see it and we'll have contacted them and, and, and they'll give us the information so we can give them their video card. And there were three other contests, leaderboard okay. wipes. Uh, let's see. Focal point, Had 10 tower limit. Who won the, that one? The mode was 10 tower limit. That was Zarfus. Excellent. Zarfus? Zarfus. Sure. Uh, let's see. And uh, out of bullets on Onslaught. That was white tofu. I, I don't know any other color. Do you? Uh, I've never seen it. Well, I guess food dye would help you oh, make yeah, it green. I guess, I guess you could. Yeah, fair point. And uh, let's see. On Forge, the mode was Super Grinder. Winner and was? The winner was Ferris. Congratulations to you guys. He was taking his day off. What did they win, Jeff? They win an AMD Radeon HD 6770 video card. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Actually, we're really excited about that. We'll be sending that to all the winners. Our upcoming week, we're going to have actually 10 total prizes. It's, it's going to be crazy. And, and before we go into all of them, four of the prizes are coming from a mini game. And you guys have been asking, wait a minute, wait a minute, there was mini game week one, there was mini game week two, where did the mini games go? And uh, our CTO, uh, Michael Austin, um, let's just say he kept going with this one. Yes, and I'm not did. sure it's a mini game That's anymore. Amazing. We're going to actually let him tell you a little bit about Defensylvania. Hi, Michael here. This is Defensylvania, a game where you get to play Tony Wood, PhD, Intrepid Explorer, as he tries to recover some of the cores um, in a base that the aliens have overrun. Uh, we kind of went overboard here with the content. This map is huge and there's tons of things that you can find and secrets to um, explore. And we've um, done several of our contests this week around it, as Jeff and uh, Jim had said. There's lots of power-ups um, that do various things, like there's the dash power-up um, that you'll find. Um, you get to fight all kinds of enemies like robots and ninja aliens, and if you're really good and get to the very end of the game, uh, you get to fight the Jedi alien boss. So thank you, Michael, for the update on Defensylvania. Jim, people are going to be able to play that, have a lot of fun, yep, have indeed. multiple hours of gameplay in an ASCII <laughs> game. Uh. And there's going to be several ways that they can win prizes. That's right. Uh, two folks are going to be able to, to win... Uh, sorry, oops. That's my notes. <laughs> There'll be two two winners from uh, all the players who get a perfect score. On the Th there, there's a score given to you, and and I believe Michael said. Now I'm operating off of memory that a hundred was a perfect score. Um, so uh, you you will know as you play. But if you have a perfect score, all the people who get a perfect score going into a drawing, winner of the drawing, video card, two. Well, oh, I'm sorry, that not. 
there will be two draw people we will draw out of that, and each of them will get a That's video correct. card. That's correct, yes. Yeah. And then uh, <clears throat> there'll be another drawing from all the folks who actually were able to beat the game. Uh, you didn't necessarily need to get a perfect score, but you beat the game, and there'll be a drawing for an award of one more video card. And then the last one goes to everyone who played it, and the more of what? The surprises? The items. The items. The items that you find throughout the level, each one of those items gives you another entry into the drawing. Mm -hmm. So your percentage a chance of being drawn in that contest increases uh, with the number of items that you find. He said and we'll know how many items you find. We're looking over your shoulder watching you play the game. So uh, well, well, there's leaderboards. Yeah, well, I was being scary. <laughs> That's watching me. Watching you. We're not watching. <laughs> and then we'll have uh, four more leaderboard wipes. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So we've taken um, some of the, you know, the it's the last week. So we're looking at in the awakening some of the last levels, and we've got on last stand. What are we got, gonna have? Well, we've got last stand, which you know. How do you feel about Last Stand? I love that level. Oh my god, it beat the crap out of me. Oh, it was it was too hard. Don't get me wrong, but I love the layout. I love the pacing. Yes, yes. I love the way the things are. I must are. say that I, I I felt success, you know, tremendously once I finally was able to to yeah. beat that level. Anyway, uh, the Super Grinder mode is uh, Last Stand uh, mode this week, and so there'll be a leaderboard wipe on that. Uh, um, let's see, Guardian Fall. Guardian Fall is cool level. Yeah, yeah. That, that's where I think we first introduced the uh, Concussion Tower. Uh, story reversed will be the mode. Ooh, the aliens coming in from the exit, hmm. and leaving by the entrance. That changes that whole level completely. Uh, lockdown, another mode. Yeah. Oh, excuse lockdown. me, another level. With yeah. It's the the story story challenge mode. On, yep. On lockdown. Lockdown is a cool level too. I like that one. And then uh, finally, uh, waste disposal. Frozen core. That's right, the frozen core. And waste disposal is the one with the alien infested level. Mm. So that'll yeah. be really cool. So those four levels, wiping the leaderboards. You play it, you complete it with any medal, um, and you're on the leaderboard, and therefore, if you're also registered, you're entered in the contest. That's right. So that takes care of, I counting, eight well of, done. of the ten prizes that we're going to award this week. There are two more. You're an expert in addition, <laughs> right? In fact, in fact, I am. Yes. <laughs> we were just talking about that earlier today. And we have two more uh, trivia challenges. Excellent. And we haven't done trivia challenges before. That's right. First week for trivia challenges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that last week we, we did the, the, uh, the hunt, questions, the yes. scavenger hunt, and and, and using really this, trivia. and using the same system, we're going to ask a couple of trivia questions. Jim, do you want to tell us? Uh, now, now this is all about just Defense Grid: The Awakening and Defense Grid: Borderlands. Yep. Just those two, because everyone who's a backer on the Kickstarter has it those for those sure, tools. right? Because you you got those. Some people who bid higher have all the expansions, but everyone has at least uh, The Awakening and Borderlands. So all the trivia questions are just about those two. Well, the first trivia question, Jeff, you yes. know, yes, I'm certain that most of the maps have some natural terrain. They, oh yeah, almost all, right? However, what? What you need to do for the first trivia, first trivia question is count how many maps have absolutely no natural terrain or objects. That is, no, no rocks, no dirt, no grass, no trees, nothing like that. Mm. And I've been told by Dave McCoy, the art director, that there is a, a trickiness to this question. So be careful. Hmm. Okay. Dave can be a tricky guy. He, yeah. The second question, uh, what is the maximum number of towers that can be deployed on a single map? Ooh, I don't know the answer to this. No. A lot of different maps have a lot of different tower placements. Yeah. And well, between the Awakening, the 20 levels there, yeah. and is it four four levels of Borderlands? So yeah. of those 24, which one has the most but tower spots? must be one of the, the levels that you can create your own path for the, the aliens. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. One of them has the most, and what is that number? That's the second trivia question. So 10 prizes to be awarded. Four for Defensylvania. What a great name. Um, <laughs> Two for the trivia, and then four more for the leaderboard wipes. Thank you for saving me that. <laughs> I'm sure it was not apparent at all. <laughs> uh, we have some concept art again this week. Yes, they did another speed concepting, and let's go to Dave McCoy, who will tell us all about it. Hey guys, it's Dave, the art director at Hidden Path again. We've dropped some hints that we're going to go to new places with Defense Grid 2, so we wanted to give you a little sneak peek of some of the stuff we're concepting as we work out what those new spaces are going to look like. Defense Grid 2 is going to be part of a bigger story, so we want you to see some of the epic spaces that we're, we're going to be exploring in the next chapter of, of the whole uh, franchise. Um, 
We wanted to show you not just some new spaces, but also some of the new towers we're working on. They'll have some of the familiar qualities that you're used to, but also we'll be exploring new directions with the look and even the function of the towers. We're going to have a lot more dynamic things in the world, a lot more motion, a lot more sense that we're not looking at the abandoned spaces that we saw in the first game, but part of the living civilization that, uh, that the original planet was part of. So we hope you enjoy this sneak peek of some of the stuff that we're going to be showing you in uh, Defense Grid 2. And again, thanks very much for your support. And thank you, Dave. And uh, and I, I, you know, I like the way they're doing the new stuff on towers. You know, one week it was kind of the environments, mm. another week it was the aliens. Yep. Now we got towers. It's cool stuff. So with that, this is kind of our last major update. We may end up doing another one um, as as time goes on. But you know, we kind of schedule these each week. We are so thankful for you being a part of this. Over 5,100 of you raised over 230,000 so far. We're shooting for 250. Obviously, the more we can go past that, the smaller the gap we have to close for Defense Grid 2. Mm -hmm. um, but be assured, we're going to get you containment when we cross 250, and then we're going to be working to close that gap between the amount we have, the amount you guys have raised, and the amount that, uh, that we need to make a full Defense Grid 2. And it's going to happen. Um, exactly when, not quite sure, but when it does, you're going to get a copy. And you're going to be part of the betas ahead of time if, if you're at the pledge tiers that are associated with that. And we're going to treat you like you're part of the team because, you know, this is in some ways is kind of new for a lot of the video game developers out there, really trying to engage with the community. And we've seen this and we've wanted to do this and we thought, okay, the Kickstarter is going to be a new, a new start for us. We really want to bring the community on board. So you're going to see the user voice tool we've talked about. You're going to see us putting things in front of you and asking questions and really trying to engage you to help us make the best possible game so that not only do you have a fun game to play and that it's really rich and rewarding, but that when we sell it to other people, it'll do really well. Mm -hmm. And so we're very excited about that. We're really excited about the participation and the, and the partnership that we have, not only getting here, but going forward over the next year, two years, whatever it's going to take. Mm -hmm. So again, thank you very, very much for your support.